I mean, look at this thing, guys. It's massive. I still don't know how to make intros. So if you're in the market for a great budget ultra wide monitor that does not break the bank, well, the MSI Pro here with the serial number that I cannot even pronounce is one of the best ones for productivity and light gaming as well. So I actually bought this monitor a couple of months back for my girlfriend because she really needed a new monitor for work and I've been able to test it a little bit. So in today's video, I'm gonna share you my experiences with this monitor, its pros and cons and whether it's the right fit for you. So let's get started. So this MSI monitor in particular is not targeted for gamers, it has only a 100Hz of refresh rate which makes it a little bit less if you want to do some competitive gaming, but with a refresh rate of 100Hz it's actually quite nice for some story based games as well as a lot of productivity work like for example video editing or photo editing, this monitor is gonna be perfect for that. And speaking about the build quality, this monitor with its stand is 7.7 kilograms in weight and the stand is made out of metal while the, while the monitor is made of high quality plastic so it feels very sturdy and I don't think it's going to tip over or break on you at least it did not in the couple of months that I've been using it and my girlfriend has been using it and speaking about the design I'm really digging this white finish guys it's super super nice and uh, I think that it gives the monitor a really premium feel like it costs way more than the actual $300 price tag but the only thing that I don't understand is why did I include speakers that sound like this The bad speakers aside, I think that overall the build quality is kind of nice and the design is bomb. Alright, but how about the picture quality? After all, this is a monitor for productivity and work. And when it comes to that, uh, we have a 10-bit HDR screen with a resolution of 1340 by 1440p. This is the typical 21 by 9 aspect ratio and it looks absolutely gorgeous, especially if you pair this white monitor with anything else that's white inside of the room. We have all nice shenanigans like an anti-glare surface, a low blue light mode and a bunch of other things. We have one millisecond of response time, which is great again for gaming, even though not competitive. And the RGB range is 116%, which uh, makes this monitor a nice one for Photoshop and any other photo editing work or video editing work. One thing that I forgot to mention is that this screen has a 1500 curvature on it, which is supposed to help uh, when it comes to eye strain and eye fatigue. Personally, I didn't see any difference, so I cannot say anything about that, but maybe you have experienced something else, so let me know down in the comments. And here is a small comparison between the laptop screen and the monitor which is hooked up to the laptop, so you can see uh, just how big of a difference this monitor makes compared to your regular laptop or uh, regular screen. But let's be real, no one in eSports actually uses an ultra wide monitor, they're all using uh, their typical 24 inch monitors with 240Hz refresh rate and whatnot. And this monitor here, this one is targeted more for gamers who are casual, like for example if you want to play some story based games, if you want to play some MMOs, some Genshin Impact, some uh, Life is Strange and of this sort. And this monitor is gonna give you an amazing experience, the colors are amazing, the color accuracy is also great. Uh, even though it's a little bit more on the warmer side and not so much on the cooler side. But I don't think that you would need to make any adjustments to the color accuracy. I think that uh, by default this monitor is pretty nice when it comes to colors. Still, if you want to adjust some settings on this monitor, you can do so from the menu. Even though the menu is one of the things that I kind of dislike about this monitor, there are a few buttons on the back and it's very hard to realize what you're pressing at any point. Now, this is one downside, of course, but if you don't want to mess around with this, I think it's perfectly fine if you just use the monitor straight out of the box without making any adjustments, you don't actually need to do that. Now there is the MSI Display Kit program that you can download for Windows, but in my opinion it's a little bit useless uh, unless you want to do something really specific. For example, there is the split window mode, but you can do that in Windows anyway. And there are some other, you know, quick shortcuts that you can use here and you can adjust the color setting, probably that's the only thing that's actually great about this uh, program that you can just quickly choose uh, a color profile and uh, the monitor is gonna adjust its colors and brightness depending on that. One of my favorites would be the RTS RPG one because in my opinion it makes the colors look the best with the most amount of brightness which is probably the most pleasing for the eye. 
We have a nice VA panel with great color reproduction and even though it's not as great as Samsung when it comes to replicating the deeper blacks, there is also not much ghosting when it comes to this monitor and that is really really nice. For example, my Samsung monitors have a lot of ghosting and compared to that, this one is a huge upgrade for anyone who wants to play any games without uh, having their colors smeared all around and there are any dark scenes in their games or in their movies. So if you're in the market for a nice productivity monitor with little to no costing and great color accuracy then you just can't go wrong with buying the MSI Pro. It's literally one of the best monitors I've tried in my entire life and I've tried quite a few. But if you have found any value in this video then click that like button guys, subscribe to my channel and if you'd like to watch some more videos you can click right here.